going, guys? I'm Felix with Coffee House, coming to you from our office in Detroit. And today we're going to make a pour over using the Stag Kettle. All right, so first things first, I'm going to turn this guy on, set it to hold on the back switch there. And then I'm going to set the temperature to about 96 degrees Celsius, which is about 205 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we're going to wait. Typically only takes a few minutes for this thing to load up. The water that is in here is already 50 degrees Celsius, so that's nearly halfway there, or already halfway there. And on the back here, there's a switch that will make it read out in Celsius or in Fahrenheit. All right, so we're beginning to approach our desired temperature, just a couple of degrees away. I'm gonna just go ahead and rinse out my paper filter, get all of that nasty paper taste out of there. Today I'm making our Columbia El Obraje, which is delicious on pour over. All right, we're ready to begin brewing. Only going to add about 45 grams of water. My dose was 15. Make sure, give that a good stir. Just make sure that's all nice and wet. And I'm going to usually wait around 45 seconds for the balloon. Let's see all the nice little gases escaping. Mm. And one thing I think uh, this kettle doesn't necessarily get as much recognition for is its handle. It's uh, super easy to hold. It might be a little strange to get used to if you have been using you know, like the Hario kettle, for example. This is just a lot more ergonomic of a handle. It's gonna be a lot easier on your hands and your wrists, and just a lot easier to kind of delicately measure out your water. All right, this is done brewing. Just give that a couple stirs and taps. What I love about this guy is as well, while I was brewing this entire thing, every time I wasn't pouring water, I was just setting this down and it continuously held the temperature that I had it at before. So there wasn't any drop in temperature that typically happens when you're making a pour over, although it's only by a few degrees. It still makes a difference and it's nice to have that consistency. Also, if you were to somehow leave this kettle on and on hold, don't worry, as I'm sure you know, having no water in a kettle and it burning is a very bad idea. And this has a sensor inside of it that will tell when there's no water and it will stop heating the kettle. So you don't have to worry about ruining your electrical unit or the metal of the kettle itself. It's all good. All right. Got a delicious cup of coffee that is ready to roll. A rinse, get that a little warmed up, and just you know, maybe wash out some things we don't want in there. <sighs> Cheers.